Stephen Wong and James Hergott stopped by the Fight Network studios to talk about their upcoming documentary set to be released next year. Currently named The Striking Truth, the film takes a look at the lives of Canadian fighters George St. Pierre and David Loiseau. Director and co-producer Stephen Wong expects the film to not only be embraced by MMA fans, but the general public as well. This not only appeals to the MMA fan, but it appeals to a wider audience. The MMA fan will really love the documentary because obviously we're going to show a lot of the behind the scenes, the secret training, the weight cutting, uh, the regimens, and uh, you know, all the stuff that's required to become a, a professional. It's a story about two guys, two friends, two fighters, and you know, one guy, George St. Pierre, is a champion, and we see how he deals with being a champion. Because it's, uh, you know, when you're climbing up the ranks, it's not the same as it is when you become a champion. When you become the champion, you've got everyone. Everyone's calling you, everyone's trying to get this and get that. Interviews, press, and, you know, he's flying all over the world. And then, on the other side, there's David Loazzo, who actually, a lot of people don't know that he was the first fighter from Montreal, from Quebec, to get into UFC. He had his championship fight with uh, Rich Franklin before George got his title fight, and uh, and that was almost a turning point so of, of his career. After that, uh, you know, he fought Mike, Mike Swick and he was terminated from the UFC, and that's where we pick up. And uh, you know, we see him. He's like the Rocky story. We see him trying to work his way back up and uh, eventually go back in the UFC. A new element has been used in the making of this film, and co-producer James Hergott discusses their decision to use 3D effects. We're incorporating 3D aspects into it, which is the newest thing. Uh, you know, James Cameron's Avatar is coming out soon, and uh, 3D really is the future. Uh, it's not like the red and uh, and blue glasses of the past. They have the polarized now, and uh, they're doing some really exceptional stuff. You know, obviously MMA is a very uh, visually stimulating, you know, uh, type thing. So in order to take that to the next level, adding 3D just kind of fits with MMA and nobody's done MMA in 3D. So uh, I partnered up with uh, a couple of different people who have a lot of experience doing this, including uh, Bobby Razik. Uh, Bobby's a uh, director, he does all the, the tap out commercials. Um, we've worked on some projects in the past. Cynthia Ludwig that she uh, uh, actually edited uh, My Bloody Valentine 3D so I thought it was time to do something with action and, and what better action than with MMA. George is a very uh, clean cut guy. He's the first guy to really uh, to be MMA fighter be signed by Gatorade and Under Armour. George is a great ambassador for the sport uh, especially here in Canada and I think that uh, uh, covering a story about somebody like that and showing you know, here's somebody that's talking about possibly competing in the Olympics for wrestling. Uh, I think this is going to open a lot of doors and make the average person understand, okay, these guys aren't just brutal, uh, you know, fighters or whatever the, the mystique might be. And there's some really talented and intelligent fighters out there, and George is obviously one of those guys. Steven was responsible for all filming and explains why everyone who watches this documentary will experience something truly unique. First, we just, uh, you know, I just try to be there as much as I could. Along the way, you know, there's little milestones that each one would hit, or even uh, in the personal life. And, uh, you know, I just try to be there as much as possible. Content is king, so I was there for, you know, a lot of milestones. And there's a lot of real, genuine uh, scenes that uh, have never been seen before, never been shot before, that really will show you the character of, of these two fighters, these two friends. I grew up in Ontario. Stephen grew up in Canada as well, and of course the fighters did. So this is a, a, a Canadian project through and through. And my dream would be if we could get this in the Toronto Film Festival. And I think with the story that we have and how great the 3D is, uh, you know, I, I think they should put it in.